What's up, Rody Foodie fam? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, California is where we are. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Word of the day, please comment down below the word Cali. C-A-L-I. Let me know you're on the check-in. Check-in. <laughs> on the check-in. If you're having chicken, then you're having little Pollo Locos. Oh, my God. Do Pollo Locos still exist? If they are, that's one of our stops. So, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, guys. Also, down below, you'll see the uh, in the description. Uh, if you'd like to help out the channel for my birthday month, uh, which is in February, we are doing a big push for YouTube memberships. You'll find all the information down below. There might be a little video. You can get a little more information, but great way to support the channel. Great way for us to grow as a channel, and you get a little bit of extras here and there. Uh, if you were a member, you would have seen this video before everybody else. Okay, so today is an exclusive. I don't know if I want to call this the double dip. Or the double feature? Or the double dip, double feature? The double dip. The double dip taste test. Double dip taste test. We found it. So, my man, the endorsement. Got the Big King. It smells bomb, by the way. That sauce is kicking. And then Taco Bell. This is new. Taco Bell. Or they brought this back. I don't know. It's new. It's new on the menu right now. And then we got the uh, the two uh, crispy chicken cantina jump offs here, one with uh, chipotle and one with that avocado ranch. Double dip taste test, roadie foodie, world excuse exclusive. I don't have an intro. This is my intro. Hold on. Hold on. Can I find a pen? Hold on. Oh my god. This will be the intro right here, guys. You ready? We don't have the budget for an intro. That's why we're trying to grow our YouTube memberships. You guys ready? This is my intro. Rody Foody in the building. All right, guys, I'm starving. First meal of the day. Let's do this. Big King. They're trying to, I think they're trying to go after uh, the Donald. Uh, cheese, lettuce, and cevoyas, which I love. Here we go, down the hatch. Four ninety nine, California. I'm actually liking that. And I guess she called it the stacker sauce. Mm. I can mess with that. I see a lot of places trying to make their own orange sauce, right? They're, everyone's trying to compete with In-N-Out and, and Mac sauce. In-N-Out spread, Mac sauce. Both big heavy hitters in the game. Everyone's always trying to come in. It's like when you get to prison, you got to start a fight, right? You got to, you, you got to, uh, uh, set your boundaries so I'm technically in California I think I'm in in the Coachella region um, which is uh, the capital of expensive gas for the very first time I saw a gas station five dollars it looked like five hundred five dollars per gallon of gasolina. I might have to download that app, uh, Gas Buddy. You know what I mean? All right. We clean the palate. Cantina, Taco Bell time. I, I wonder if they use... Let's just shut up and take a bite. Here we go. This is the Chipotle version.
Not bad. Two and change. It should be a dollar and change. And I'll tell you why. One. It has a lot of breading. But it's good, guys. Because obviously, you on it, let's be honest. You put that chipotle sauce on anything, I'm going to eat it. Second, I wonder if you can get these in a hard, in a hard shell. Not bad, crispy chicken. You do taste a little crispy crisp when you go in with, with the with the shark mouth. And that chipotle sauce just brings you home. It says, hey, come on over. We're gonna watch movies. We're gonna grab a couple drink skis. And you have that sense of home. Now this is my favorite sauce. And if anybody if anybody hasn't been part of this channel since the very beginning, shout out to Bucky's. By the way, I went to the drive-thru at, at Taco Bell, and the guy's like, hey! Because someone had stuck a Bucky's um, sticker on the thing. And I, he didn't know exactly what it was, so I had to explain to him. I was like, dude, it's this amazing like chain of, of um, I got a sheriff's department. Howdy, sir. Um, they have... Uh, I had to explain to him, it has like over 60, 100 pumps, uh, biggest gas station in the world. He has to go. Um, and I hope one day he leaves his little town here and he actually gets his butt over to Bucky's because I've been a fan since day one. All right, here we go. Shut up, Lupe. Avocado Ranch, down the hatch. Yeah. Again, put the avocado ranch on any dollar menu. That's all I'm I'm going down the hatch with that. That crispy chicken, that's exactly what it is. It's actually crispy. You can actually taste the uh, the breading, right? It has its own flavor to it. And then they make it Baja, which is with the tomatoes and all that jazz. I like it. Now, you think I'm going to let my man the endorsement show me up? You think that I'm going to let the endorsement come in, do a double bite without me taking a double bite? Yeah, never mind. By the way, I'm next to a building called Cannabis 21 Plus. So bizarre. All right, here we go. This is the money bite. We're going to dedicate this money bite not only to Bernie, but also to the endorsement, homie. Can't wait for more travels. Down the hatch. Mmm. Double bites where it's at. You need the double bite. You'd be doing yourself a disservice if you don't do the double bite. You can do what you want with that information. Reviews are over. The rest of this video is for the Roadie Foodie fam. So if you're here just for the review, check it out. Thank you for coming. We do vlogs. We do YouTube shorts. We do uh, food tours. And we talk about uh, mental health and, and positivity and just silliness. And we do a ton of lives here. So if you want to join us, come join us. If you don't, hey, thanks for coming. You're a special. You're an amazing person, even if you don't subscribe and stay and watch all our videos. I still love you. Now, for the familia. 
Oh, and go check out the endorsements reviews of this. He did a really good job breaking it all down. I think he gave this a 95, and I think he gave that 85. I could be mistaken. Endorsement, brother. If I got that wrong, my apologies. So, we are in Coachella. We drove by a couple casinos, and I was like, should I go in there and spend 20 bucks and see if we can get some free hotel rooms? <laughs> but I was like, nah, man, we don't, we don't have time to play that because gas yeah, in California. We need to be in and out of California. The problem now is that it's getting late. So by the time I get to Santa Monica, it's going to start getting evening time. So, and the way that I wanted to film these videos for you guys was... Route 66 tour day one day two so the first the first video might be like a half a day I don't know we'll probably we'll have to figure it out or I can spend the night in California and then leave first thing in the morning what do you guys think actually I'd probably be already on the road by the time you guys see this uh The problem is that hotels are so expensive in um, in and uh, what you call it. What am I trying to say? Come on, Lupe. In like the LA area, and I'm definitely not car camping in a huge metro area like that. I like to car camp in uh, in smaller towns, in rural areas. Let's see if this uh, big king can help. We're gonna save a couple calories here, a couple carbs. We're gonna do one of these. This was really good though. I wish it was a little cheaper though, a dollar cheaper. This burger costs the same price as a gallon of gas. So if you have five bucks and change, you're like, should I get lunch or should I get a gallon of gas? I feel bad for like Uber drivers or like Uber Eats, DoorDash. They must pay drivers here more than in other cities because that's just cray cray. Mm. I don't know guys I don't know what I'm gonna do mm. some good sauce though you know what we're gonna do it we'll go to Santa Monica Hopefully they still have that parking on both sides of the pier. I don't know, haven't been in forever. It's the homecoming, even though it's a drive-by homecoming. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna go, we're gonna pay for parking. Cause I'm sure they're I'm still I'm sure they're still charging. And then um Get the get the twenty second clip that I need of the pier. <laughs> I wish I could talk to them and be like, "Hey, I'm a YouTuber. I just need one shot, and then I'm out. I'm not parking here." They don't. People don't care. Um. And then I'll get the shot, and then and then we could start making our. Way. That's what we're gonna do. So day one is probably just gonna be like a day and a half. Day one of Route sixty six will probably be a day and a half of footage. All right, we we figured it out. <clears throat> All right, fam. I love you. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Again, um, please consider joining YouTube membership for my birthday month. Also, um, I think for uh, Valentine's Day, I might do a live then. I mean, we're going to do a bunch of lives before Valentine's Day, but maybe we'll spend, maybe we'll spend it together. Maybe we'll spend, um, oh wait, Valentine's Day. No, it's on a Monday. No, Super Bowl is on, 
No, Valentine's Day is on a Monday, right? Super Bowl's on a Sunday? Or it's vice versa. I was like, oh my, oh, they did give me a sauce. Damn it. They did give me sauce. Anyways, uh, we'll figure it all out, family. I love you. I'm going to get going. I'm going to hit the road. I want to just pay this expensive gas and get the heck out of here. Uh, between the between the miles, Jesus, there you go. Between the miles it takes to get from here to Santa Monica, Santa Monica out. I hope you guys really like these Route 66 videos because from where I am to Santa Monica and Santa Monica back out, it's about 250 miles in and then 250 miles out. My my car gets about. Depending, 20, 25 miles per gallon. No, it never gets 25. What am I talking about? It averages like 22 miles per gallon. So we're talking, oh my God, we're talking like over 100 bucks. Ah! I need a gas sponsor. Does anybody work for the gas industry? Or does anybody know where I can get sponsored with like a Tesla or something where I don't have to pay for gas? That is my number one biggest expense with this, uh, with this channel is gas. And I know we've been driving a lot. This is the different type of traveling that I want to do. But man, oh man. Um, but I do it because I like it. And I love sharing all the travels with you guys. But I just don't know why gas is so expensive. It goes, you know, since I was a kid, it used to go like, it just goes like this. And of course, we would start our travel when gas is like at an all-time high. <sighs> maybe, uh, maybe in, uh, do they make hybrid... I know they don't make electric vans, but I wonder if they make hybrid vans. Because I know with the Prius, I, I would have been able to get like 45, almost 50 miles per gallon. Um, maybe that maybe that'll be our. Maybe we should get a Prius. But I want a van because I want to be able to get a dog. Oh my God, decisions, and we got to decide fast too, family. Okay. That was basically a family powwow. Thank you guys for listening. Write down below your thoughts. Por favor. Word of the day. Cali. The building. No, just Cali. And be well, eat well. And help me find the cheapest gas. And take care of each other. Ciao.